I was born in a small town in Albania called Boria, which is a suburb of the big city, Horcha. Uh, the reason I was there is because my father was assigned by the bishop for his uh, to be the priest of the, the village uh, of Boria. Uh, two uh, of the four of us were born in in, in, in Boria uh, during the years that I'm talking. Incidentally, the the language. Uh, you think was Albanian in the churches and the schools, but it, uh, not so. The reason, without elaborating, that when the Ottoman Empire uh, invaded the Balkans, uh, they permitted, for some reason, that uh, in order to punish the, Al the Albanians for whatever they had done, the, 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 the Sultan in Constantinople uh, uh, punished Albania by ordering that there shall be no Albanian language in the schools or the churches of, uh, of Albania. And, and so it was for, for many years. So uh, my, my two older sisters, at the schooling, that the, the schools were all Greek, consequently. But when I came around, uh, the situation had improved, so the Albanian schools did start. So I, I did go to school in an Albanian school for uh, four years. At the age of nine, my father received a letter from Jamestown the group here having uh, built a church, uh, an Orthodox church, but they, they had no priest. So many of the uh, Jews who had uh, decades later, earlier, had uh, arrived there knew of my father's credibility. So they took a chance of why not, why not invite Father George to see if he'd come to to America to be the, the priest of our church. Decision was made me affirm, well, okay, it, it's okay for Father to go. But then the question came up, is he going alone? Uh, no, they were, they decided that maybe one of the kids should go with him. So I being the two of the, of the two, older of the, of the two boys decided I would accompany my father to come to Jamestown. So we did, and on January 1st of 1926, we landed at the Erie Railroad Station, which, by the way, there was no station then. It was just uh, a temporary building while the new station was after high school in 35, I decided that uh, with my father's salary, we couldn't manage to be going away to college. So we took off a year, and then during that year, we did a lot of uh, work with the uh, Tillotson Furniture Company. The superintendent was Peter Searle. And he was, he turned out to be one of my backers and helped me and my brother, who eight years after I got here, he and his family could join us. So my younger brother and I worked at Tillsons uh, with permission of the superintendent to come in even Nights, manufact uh, the, the company manufactured uh, radio cuts for Emerson. Before I really got into the job, I, I received a letter from Uncle Sam. There you go. Greetings. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought maybe having had art experience at 
you probably had on the bot uh, had a reputation. I had one uh, uh, poster at uh, Pride, which I'll show you later. Ended up at Fort Niagara. Uh, a couple of my friends from the Jamestown band brought. How would you like to join the band here? And, and that's the first happy thing that happened to me that, that, that I can bring up. So, how, how could say, I could say no to that? Had I not met them uh, in, in a couple of days, I was scheduled to leave for Denver or Memphis or somewhere to be shipped out of the Army. But uh, that kept me in the band. And would you believe that lasted? <laughs> um, when the war ended, Eisenhower decided that but, uh, we've got to get our troops to the U.S. The, the, the quicker the better, because uh, if we get them there, we can help the the, the Pacific troops uh, through PFC Jonathus is permitted 10 days furlough to visit his sister in Adelphi, Greece. A U.S. Army soldier having a sister in in, in Albania uh, they haven't seen for 20 years, and I beg of you to permit me to visit her. Well, my sister is in in the Korcha area which was a five or six hour drive. And uh, she said, but by the way, who, 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 who is your sister? Uh, my sister is Sofika in the village of Ochish near Korch. And she thought for a minute, who, who, what's your name? And I, and I told him, are you, are you Father George's son? <laughs> she, she couldn't believe that. Yes. Well, uh, she and her husband were originally from our village in Ochish. Your family and Father George, they, they at one time were, were, were friends. And that was unbelievable. So she called, did you know that your sister is here in, in, in the city of Tirana? Uh, four years or so earlier, my sister's husband and her family had moved to the city of Tirana. Before we knew it, we got there and the, the doors were open. I was about to get out of the Jeep with my duffel bag and, and ready to step out. <laughs> she had three kids then, and they came. So I went with my sister. Wow. And having entered illegally, 
It didn't occur to me that until after a few days, how, so I knew how, how am I going to get out? I certainly couldn't go out to the Albanian government. Until, look, I came in as a stowaway, but uh, could you arrange it? <laughs> you had another sister. I'm glad you mentioned. This other sister and my brother and mother after eight years of the father and I alone putting up in Jamestown uh, managed to borrow enough money to have them come to the U.S. with intentions of the whole the whole family coming here. But my sister Sofika was the one that was became ineligible because during those eight years of being of of that, of that age, she had, had fallen in love and got married, and, and that she not. She became not family anymore. She became somebody else's family. So that's why the 20 years, though the family came in after eight years here, so fixed my sister Sophia had to remain there during communism, then raising kids. Sophia? Yeah. She, she stayed in Albania? She never got to the U.S., no. She never got to see a, 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 an ocean liner or, or, or even visit another, uh, another continent. She never got to Greece. Your dad was, served the church here. Was it St. Nicholas Church? Yes. Oh, yeah. For 25 years. 25 years, okay. Yeah. So he was the first and the first 25 years of St. Nick's permanent uh, priest. Yeah. Did, did he stay here or did, did, he, did he die in Jamestown or did he go elsewhere? Go to another church? Well, he died. He died in Jamestown, yeah. Okay. No, he, he, his enthusiasm for English it was nil. He never learned English. He had no desire, but his faith, he was, a, he was the kind of a priest unlike anyone that we've had since.